In today's video, we're gonna cover the reality of waiting for a fall. It's painful. <laughs> it's super painful. That's a fact. If you're new here, my name is Brandy and- I'm Jason. My husband, Jason. And this is our horse, Nika. Uh, my horse. <laughs> It's our horse. No, our horse. This is mine. Our horse. This channel is all about horses and my journey with horsemanship, and Jason's along for the ride with that too. And so, if you want to learn more about horses, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, and please be sure to turn on all notifications so you don't miss anything. Pregnancy, just like with humans, with any species, I guess, has been kind of a interesting. Painful. <laughs> So, but what's funny is like, I've been watching this mirror for weeks and weeks and weeks. And you know, as those of you who've been following this journey with us, um, you've seen how she's been acting in all the different signs. And we swore she was having this baby like a week ago, um, maybe even longer. Just like you, when you were pregnant. <laughs> so what I think happened is when she was very uncomfortable um, and acting like she was going into labor, I think what was really happening is the baby was turning to get into position. That's just my thoughts because I'm a mom, I've been there before, and I know what all that feels like, and it's pretty miserable. And so I'm like, it, this, I feel exactly like I did when you were having our children. Where pretty helpless. It's different, but it's not. <laughs> pretty helpless, nothing I can do right. besides watch the anxiety and the frustration. Right. And then I'm in the same boat because now I'm like the one sitting and watching and we adore this horse so much and we're watching her go all through all these things and it's like, ah, we can't do anything to help. <laughs> no, like with you, I could take you on a side by side and take you on a rough road and we could try and make that happen. Right? That works by the way, that absolutely works. That works twice. Yeah, it works twice. <laughs> took me for a bumpy ride and um, I went into labor. So I don't know, maybe we can load her in the trailer, go for a cruise. I've been running up to the barn constantly, trying to you know, just catch this mare having her full and I am kind of exhausting myself. So now I'm sick, so I'm paying the price. So I've really tried to back off and stop making those late night visits to the barn and I'm just kind of letting nature take its course. So I apologize if we don't catch it on video, but we're going to try our best. But um, we've thought about <clears throat> ways yeah. to try and do it. The problem is, is it's far enough from the Wi-Fi source where we can't get Good specific signal. cameras that'll tie into it. So there's a lot of like challenges with trying to do that. We a use lot a baby monitor. We tried baby that. monitors don't go through steel. Fun fact. Yeah, baby monitors. They don't, don't work, work. Um, unless you're close enough. Yes. So uh, anyway, we're thinking about looking into trying to figure out camera things, but it's so it is far what it is. basically we haven't been able to figure it out. So we're going old fashioned right now and just checking on her, but I'm trying to back off so I don't like get sicker. Fun fact though, horses have been having babies for like thousands of years <laughs> without a camera. That's a fact. They so. have. But YouTube. So comment below if you want me to <laughs> make, catch me, this. make me go out to the barn <laughs> in the middle of the night. Comment below if you want to see video of this baby being born. Because I'm trying really hard here, folks. I'm trying. And I need some likes and some comments <laughs> to make that happen. Because I don't want to do it. Yeah, he doesn't want to do it. But he could probably be convinced. <laughs> we don't know this mare's due date. She was pasture bred, and so my friend Katie and I, um, and many of you know Danny the Horse Girl. If you don't know Danny the Horse Girl, be sure to go and check out her channel like right now. She has an awesome channel, and they have two mares that are also due to have babies, and we don't know the exact dates. So her one mare um, was hand bred, so I think she's got dates figured out better on that one, but you'll have to check that out on her channel to see her updates because I don't remember what it is. The other mare was bred at the same time as this mare. They were dropped off and put in the pasture together. So, 
But that mirror is not showing nearly the amount of sign as this one is, but her other mirror is. So what I want to know, which mirror do you think is going to have their full first? Is it going to be Nika, or is it going to be Nikki, or is it going to be special? So since we don't know the actual due date, I can tell you that the um, gestation period for a horse is 320 to 380 days, with the average being around 330. So we dropped them off the end of May to be bred and picked them up the beginning of October. Pretty sure she took right away because when we had her ultrasound done um, in the fall, the vet said that she looked like she was pretty far along. Like she was guessing that we had an April baby on our hands, but that would be early. So basically what I've been doing, since I don't know an exact due date for this mare, um, and nothing's ever exact with babies anyway, they come whenever they darn well feel like it. But I have my three point inspection testing that I've been doing every day. And basically that is, I check out her belly. So we're gonna bring her forward a little bit so we can see her belly. I check out the status of her belly and she's really hanging pretty low right now. And she's getting like ribby looking up here. Um, and then the next thing that I check is, I check her bag. And then the third thing I check is her bum. I just check and see if she's uh, like loosened at all around the tail head. That's really the best that I can do. And I've been in constant contact with my vet. We don't have any experience with breeding our own horse. We've dealt with a lot of babies at um, other places that we have worked, but this is our first personal full, so it's just different. So I really appreciate the positive comments. So I personally want to thank you so much for all of your positive comments. It's really meant a lot to me. This is a really stressful time for us. We're super excited, but we're worried, we're anxious, we're, we're all these different emotions. And everybody that's around here is super excited for this baby. And now I'm getting messages from people in Scotland, in the Netherlands, in Australia, and all over the world that are just like, yeah, I can't wait to see that baby and, and giving me really great, um, really great feedback. I absolutely love it. And so I'll keep, I'll make sure to keep putting updates out there so you know what's going on. I'll do them as often as I can. You can also check out my Instagram too. Check out Versatile Horsemanship on Instagram. I do post quite often on there as well. So it took us 10 years to do this, to make this decision and um, we're super excited about it. We've got, it, it took me so long to research finding just the perfect stallion for this mare. You know, this mare means so much to us. Um, we've had her for 18 years. She was actually, well, he's he's had her for 18 years. Um, yes, she's my horse. So we weren't even married yet. He bought this horse before we were even married as a yearling, and she was actually born on the farm that we own now, so that's kind of cool. Um, but there's so much risk that is involved with breeding that we just really put it off and put it off, and then last, last year just like said, okay, let's just do it. We either need to do it now or we don't do it all. But finding the perfect stallion was so important to me because I want to have the best quality foal that I possibly can get out of this awesome mare. So she's 19, she'll be 19 this month. Um, and Katie's mare is the same age and it's both their first time foals. So the one um, special, the one that was bred with Nika, she's had one other full before, but Nikki and Nika are both maiden mares. So that'll be really interesting to see how that goes. And the whole purpose behind wanting to breed her, for one, we want, a, we want offspring from this horse, but I want a foal to start from scratch. I have started um, 30 to 40 horses in my life, but I've never started one from a foal that I bred and raised and did all that. So I'm really excited to have that opportunity and that's really why why we decided to do this because you know we all know there's a million horses in the world that we could have tomorrow if we wanted but I want one that I made all the decisions on myself and did all the work. Um, so what color do you want? What color, what color are you thinking? I don't know. I don't know what color this is going to be. So if you haven't seen the daddy go back and look in the previous videos and I'll make sure to link those here too. But um, I really think that I, I just, I kind of had a vision that I'm going to end up with a chestnut with chrome. So white legs and a white, I, I think it's going to have a white blaze no matter what color it is. I really do. I feel like there's going to be white. 
Uh, but I think there's gonna be white legs too, and I'm thinking chestnut or like a darker color of some sort. What do you think? So this is this is like emotional for me, right? Because it's like full circle. Yeah. Because I love the Palomino. Yes. So when when it was time for Jason to actually get a horse, he said, "Well, I want one that looks like Trigger," and I'm like, "No." can't do that like you're not gonna find one that looks like trigger that's just not gonna happen except it doesn't fact, just happen except for the fact that, I found that you get the horse that you want like the horse like the mind the body the the confirmation all that stuff and you get the color that you think is cool that doesn't happen so that and just goes to show that you just need to have good expectations in life <laughs> and you too can have what you want so we just happen to find a horse of the age the disposition, bloodlines. the bloodlines, the confirmation, all that that he wanted, and it just happened to be a Palomino that looked like Trigger. Because, I mean, you got to remember, when I bought this horse, I was broke in yeah. college, and I could not afford her. In fact, I had to pay for this horse on payments. <laughs> yes, true story. Over the course of, like, a year and a half. Yes. Two years. Yes. And so, like, yeah, it just, it happened that way. Um, yes. But... To back to your thing, the reason it's emotional for me is that Brandy's horse died, um, and he was dying throughout the whole time that she was pregnant, and I had to take care of the horse by myself. And he was an amazing horse. And uh, there's videos. I think there's videos with about him. I, I don't think there's any videos of Poco yet. We'll probably talk. There's about no videos of Poco yet yeah, yeah. because I can't talk about it yet. It's yeah. been almost seven years yeah. and I still can't talk about it. So, so for me, I was kind of faced with that and I love her and so my thought is is that it's either gonna be a Palomino or Poco was a bay and I think it would be a bay and yeah. that, would be the, that would complete the cycle. Well, and Poco's birthday is May 5th and he would have been 33 this year. So, mm -hmm. um, so who knows, maybe she'll wait and have her baby on May 5th and have it on Poco's birthday, maybe it'll be a bay. That'd be super cool, but um, I don't know. Either, but either, way. either way, you know, it's uh, it, it's gonna be, it's it's a ride, it's a exactly. wild ride. You and have no idea. Like, if you're breeding black. Frisians, you're pretty sure you're gonna get a black horse. <laughs> um, <laughs> even when you have babies, we we're pretty sure that we knew what our kids were kinda gonna look like. <laughs> and, but with, uh, with this horse, it's like, I have no idea what color it's going to be, so it's kind of cool. And we also had ultrasound to find out the gender of our babies. And with this, we have no idea if it's boy or girl. So there's a lot of surprises here. That's but exciting. Think it's be, uh, I think it's going to be a colt myself. I do. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? I think it's going to be a mare. You think so? So we'll see. So we'll see what happens. That'll be really interesting. So you know, by the way, the baby that's in there is also <laughs> mine. That's a fact. Since the papers, papers. <laughs> the papers will state that it's mine. The papers are in his name. So the baby is going to be in his name and I will hear about that Forever. for the rest of my life. So And so yeah, so I have some training expectations. <laughs> and I can better be trained appropriately. I do have to say with that though, a lot of people have been asking me, Hey, are you planning on using it for a lesson horse? Is it gonna be in your program? What are the thoughts? And no. Like I had said my plan is this foal is going to be something that I want to train from day one and bring up through the paces, but I'm planning on it being a personal horse of either mine or his, and, or our families at least. And so we'll see what goes from there, but we really don't know until we meet it um, what kind of job that this horse is going to be appropriate for in its life. So, but we're just going to go with it. Um, so with all that being said, I want to know what color you think it's going to be and I want to know what gender you think it's going to be I'm really excited to hear what everybody has to say um, and then also you know we're still thinking about names I I get a few things that I thought of I really like I really love the movie how to train your dragon and I've been looking at names on there I think toothless. that's kind of cool toothless <laughs> it will be born toothless <laughs> um, but no, so those are the kind of names I like. I like unique things. Well, thank you so much for being part of this awesome journey. We're really excited to share it with you. And if you want to continue to follow, if you want to learn more about horses and follow this journey, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything. Thanks so much for watching.
See ya. Bye.